Hello, educators. We wanted to provide you with a sample of some of the key videos from our Microsoft Teams for Education video series created specifically for educators just like you. The full video series has nine sections with over 50 videos that focus on the tools and features of Microsoft Teams for Education that will help you manage, organize, and bring your virtual classroom to life. You can access the full course on Udemy today. The details are in the description of this video. Let's take a peek of the Teams for Education faculty series now. If you navigate to the general channel of a class workspace and go to the Files tab, you will find the Class Materials folder. This folder is accessible to all team members, however, students can only view the items within this folder. They cannot edit or delete content from here. You can add existing content to the Class Materials folder by selecting the Upload icon. Choose if you're uploading an individual file or a folder full of files to the Class Materials folder. Use your File Explorer to locate the item and choose Open to begin uploading. You can also create brand new items that are saved directly into the Class Materials folder by choosing the New drop-down menu. Choose the file type you'll be using to create and add the new document. As you create the document, it will automatically be saved to the Class Materials folder. You can also add new folders to organize the content within the Class Materials folder. It's important to note that all items uploaded into or created within the Class Materials folder will automatically be permissioned as read-only. There are no extra steps that you have to take. Students will be able to access and review the items in the folder, but they cannot edit or change them. If they'd like, they can download their own copy of this document. They're free to make edits and changes to their copy. Those changes will not be reflected in the Class Materials folder. Education is a critical part of development, and sometimes teachers require the assistance and support of parents or guardians to help the student excel. Other times, a teacher may want to share a snapshot into the student's schoolwork and progress. Microsoft Teams makes it easy for the teacher to share information with a parent or guardian of a student when necessary. The parents do not need a Microsoft account to be able to access and review the information shared with them from the teacher. To begin sharing, log into portal.office.com with your school credentials. Select Class Notebook. Now select Manage Notebooks. Select the notebook that corresponds to the team's workspace the student is a member of. Select Parent and Guardian links. Choose if you would like to share the complete content library or a student's notebook with a parent or guardian. If you've selected to share the content library, you will receive a read-only link that allows the parents to access all the content within the sections and pages of that section group. Click Get a Link and it will be copied to your clipboard for you to share. If you're sharing a student notebook, you can share an individual student section or get a link for all students. If you've selected an individual student, choose the student's name from the drop-down menu and select their name from the list. A link will be generated and you can choose Copy, which will allow you to paste this link into an email or another Microsoft application in order to give access to the parent or guardian. You can choose Remove Access to disable an existing share for this student section from here. If you have selected All Students, choose Get Links and a link for each student in the class will be generated. You can use this resource to copy and paste the individual links into a communication for parents and guardians. 
These read-only links will allow the parent to access all content within the sections and pages of that individual student's private class notebook. If you'd like, you can export these links to an Excel spreadsheet for easier access in the future. After creating and sending your classroom or meeting invitation, you can manage your meeting options. Double-click a classroom or meeting placeholder to open it. Choose Meeting Options. A new window will open using your default internet browser. Use this drop-down menu to select which type of attendee can bypass the lobby. If an attendee is authorized to bypass the lobby, they'll be brought right into the virtual meeting space or classroom when they select Join Now. Others who are not permitted to bypass the lobby will be held in the lobby until you've admitted them in. It's best practice to not allow students to bypass the lobby. This means the students will not be able to enter the virtual classroom space and interact with one another without your supervision. Use this toggle to allow people who are calling in by phone to bypass the lobby and join your meeting or class without having to wait for you to admit them in. Use this toggle to enable or disable an announcement when someone who is calling in by phone has joined or left the meeting or classroom. Use this drop-down to select which type of attendee can present content in the meeting or classroom. It's important to remember that presenter permission will give that user the ability to mute and unmute others, as well as lower any raised hands in the classroom. It's best practice to only allow yourself the presenter permissions. You can update these permissions while you're in the class. You can also enable a single user to become a presenter if they need to deliver an assignment or a presentation. You can then return their status to attendee when they've completed their presentation. Use this toggle to enable and disable the user's ability to unmute their own microphone. This will help you to manage noise and distractions in the classroom. You can unmute a student when they've raised their hand. Choose Save to apply any changes you may have made. You can access these meeting options from within the virtual classroom or meeting as well. We will highlight this in an upcoming video. Students can upload and submit their completed assignments to you through the assignment view in their Teams application. This video will focus on how to grade assignments as they are received. From the Assignments section, select the assignment you'd like to grade. The Status column indicates which students have turned in their assignments and which are outstanding. Select an entry to open the assignment. You will see the submitted work here. You can see the name of the student this work belongs to. Use the arrows on either side of the name to scroll through other student submissions. Here, you can view when the assignment was turned in and the complete history of actions taken with this assignment. You can track everything from the moment the assignment was distributed to when the student opened and viewed it, when they submitted it, and when you returned it. A student can upload multiple documents as their submitted work, and you will see the document submissions here and can select them to open and review them within the Teams environment. You can also select the ellipsis for that submitted item to open it online using your preferred browser or to download a copy of this item to your computer. If you'd like to use the rubric you've attached to help you grade the assignment, select the rubric to use it as a grading tool. You can open and utilize the rubric for grading in two ways. Click the rubric name and a pane will open displaying a section of the rubric. 
select the option and point value you'd like to award to the student. You can add some feedback here. Use these arrows or the drop-down menu to move to the next category section in the rubric. Select Done to complete your grading. You can also click the pop-out icon to access the rubric. The entire rubric will open for you to use as a grading tool. As with the previous option, you can click and apply the point value you would like to award to this student, as well as add some feedback for them. Select Done to complete your grading. The total points earned will be visible here. You can enter some additional overall feedback if needed in this space. Select Return to send your grade and feedback to the student. The student will receive an alert in their activity feed which allows them to review their mark and your feedback. The assignment is now moved to the graded section. Microsoft Teams can help to manage a student's grade from their submitted assignments and quizzes. From the Teams view, select the class workspace you'd like to view the grades for. Select the General channel and access the Grades tab. Here's the chart of students in this class and their grade for each assignment and quiz submitted and graded to date. If you'd like, you can select Export to Excel to help you manage and visualize this data. To view an individual student's and their unique results, select them from the list. You can review all assignments and quizzes that have been distributed or are scheduled for this student. The Status column will indicate what stage this assignment is in for this student. If a quiz or assignment has been submitted but not yet reviewed and returned, you can open it by selecting Turned In. You can review and grade the assignment for this student from here. Select Returned to review the items you have graded and sent back to the student. It is possible to update assignment and quiz results from here by updating the mark you have given. Simply click within the cell and update the grade. Select the ellipsis and choose Return to confirm the new grade. To update the grade through the assignment or quiz, open the item in the way of your choosing. Update the field corresponding to the result. When you close the updated assignment or quiz, the Grades tab will update. Microsoft Teams for Education is a collaboration space for remote learning. It allows you to grow academically in an interactive online classroom environment that brings together schoolroom learning, conversations, assignments and quizzes, document storage, and more. Before we let you go explore this amazing application, we want to share some team specifications. A single user can create up to 250 Teams workspaces and can be a member of 1,000 different Teams workspaces. Each team can have up to 10,000 members total. A virtual classroom or meeting space can have up to 300 users in attendance. A single group chat can have up to 250 participants in the chat. Since Teams for Education is built on Microsoft 365, you benefit from its application integration, bringing all of your favorite Microsoft applications together in one centralized location. You can access all of your school work items, stay connected to other classmates and teachers, and join a virtual classroom from anywhere globally, on any device, at any time.